the unholy spirit right. of yeah. Satan. The Satan, Satan spirit ain't holy. Right. Unholy. It's full of holes, but it ain't holy. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true power, and Yahweh Shai Hamashayat, whom thou hast sent. Read that again, read that again. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true power, and Yahweh Shai Hamashayat, whom thou hast sent. And that's what the scripture say, that no man can come to me except oh, my Father give me, which is in heaven. Hold me uh, Luke 17, verse 2. Bring that up. Luke 17 and 2. It's the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 2. Start at 1. Uh, verse 1. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come. But woe unto him through whom the they come. It were better yeah, for him. vocab and all the rest of them come in G-Man and G-Consciousness and Q-Dub and all the mother clowns. Oh, and especially that major coon, uh, this guy, Jay the producer. producer. Oh, yeah, that guy. You're a, big, you're a major cool man. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into and and cat and he cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Yeah, that goes with the babies. You know? Yeah, yeah, the babies. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Check that out. Check that out. Little ones. We're considered little ones. Yeah. We're considered uh, insignificant, but we we are men of the most high. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and that's how, and that's why the scriptures say that the father's ways are past finding out. People wouldn't expect a, an insignificant ins person to be a somebody. Hey, like King David. Before King David became King David, he was pretty much ins insignificant. Right. right. Uh, matter of fact, well, his brothers. When you read the story, his brother Samuel, came against Samuel. him. Yeah, yeah. And um, when they, when Samuel uh, called out all the boys of uh, uh, his father Jesse, Jesse, Jesse yeah. he called out six of them. He said, is there, is there one more? Yeah. They said, oh, you mean David? Yeah. Right. And they didn't know David was fighting yes. the bears and tigers and lions, lions. and bears all the time. To protect the sheep. To protect the sheep, and, which is spiritual. Spiritual, right. Yeah, 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 His yeah, lady yeah. came back as Peter to protect yep. the other sheep. Right. I never saw it that way. Look at that. Look at that. Uh -huh. Look at that. Mm. See? It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Never saw it that way. That was all spiritual. Oh, that's, yeah. That was spiritual. The fact yeah. that when the, the bear came, the lion came, and he used a slingshot yep. to, to fight against them, yep. those sheep represented Israel, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's why David is the physical king on the planet. Yeah. See, how was I gave the keys? Uh, he gave the keys to David. David, and then gave it to Peter. Gave again. it to Peter. So Peter and was upon this rock, Peter. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And so is the, is, is the uh. The, the Peter's rock still here? Yeah. Absolutely. Where other rocks joined under Peter? Right. Peter's in the spiritual realm. Right now, yeah. He's... By the way, we also taught, and you can put that on the next video, that Masha <laughs> is Peter. It's Peter coming right. back, yeah. Zerubbabel. Moses, Peter, yeah. David, Zerubbabel. 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 Yep. So put that in your pipe this morning. Yep. Go ahead, bro. All right. Um, uh, St. John 17, verse 4. I have glor glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And that's the point. Yahweh Shai said that when he was praying to his father. Oh, somebody put this up. Hold that on deck. deck. Uh, Amos uh, 9 and 11. Amos chapter 9, verse 11. It says, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and will build it as in the days of old. That's happening now, right now. You know, as in the days of old, man. When you go back to the time of David, David had all the tribes, you know, that were part of his uh, tabernacle. That's why you notice all the tribes are coming back together. Right. Not just the tribe of Judah, meaning Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, but all the tribes. Yeah, it, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you now, got it. If, you got if, you, it. if you're going to build the house of David. That's what I was going to say. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where, where's David going to be? If you're going to build David's house, you don't think David's going to be there? Yeah, David has David's to. people, men up on them, is going to hold it down. Yeah, right. So we are part of the house of David. Yeah. Right. Which the house of David is another name for the elect. Now remember, brothers, you had two houses. You had the house of Saul and you had the house of David. Right. Now there was a period in time where the house of Saul was fighting against the house of David. 
And the scriptures say the house of Saul waxed weaker and the house of David waxed stronger. So some of these Israelites out there, they're really part of the house of Saul. That's why they're not part of the elect. They're of that house, the house of Saul. But hopefully we're of the house of David. We say that with, with hope and faith, you know? Because David's house is good. He just read it. Amos, the ninth chapter. David's house is what's going to be built up. David's house. I got something real quick. Yep. Hosea chapter 3 verse 5. Afterwards shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their power and David their king. And David their king. So David has to be around. Right. Right now he's in the spirit world, but he's going to come back. We believe he's going to come, come back. It's an easy thing for the Lord to raise up people that have died. We saw that with Lazarus. Because ultimately the order is going to be set up after the mystery time. Yeah. When we go to the wilderness. Huh. And we go around and we gather you heathens. As a matter of fact, let's bring that out. What is that? Thess Thessalonians, the fourth chapter? That we saw or not for those. Because those that have died in the faith, like. Like around the 13th verse. All right. right. Those that have died in the faith, yep. it's an easy thing for the Lord to raise them back up. And that's, the, that's the reason, yeah, I got a little bit more. And that's the reason why Abraham was willing to sacrifice Isaac because he knew that the Most High was able to bring Isaac back from the grave. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. He had faith. He had faith. Yeah. Uh, so finishing up the rest of this, it says, and shall fear the Lord and His goodness in the latter days. And that's happening now, brothers. Because we definitely in the latter days. The latter days of what? The latter days of the, this uh, so-called white man's kingdom. The latter days. Go ahead, brother. All right. For, uh, First Thessalonians chapter and, 4, verse 13. And you brothers can feel it, man. You can feel that we're in the latter days of this man's kingdom. You can feel it. Right. So, somebody hold uh, uh, Daniel 2, verse, verse 43 and 44. Around, around, you got it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, bring it up, bring it up now. Daniel 2 and 43. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they uh, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Just a verse above that. Okay. Verse, verse 42. And as, a, and, and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay. What's that talking about, vocab? <laughs> I bet you don't know. You, vocab. Dr. James White and the rest of you clowns and E Dub or Q Dub and all you clowns. Okay. Get together and tell me what that means. So the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. When 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 did that take place? Or was it taking place as you speak? You don't know. You don't know it. You don't, you don't know. know. You don't know. Go ahead. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men but they shall not cleave one to another. Nick didn't even break that down right. He said that was talking about what, race war? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, I believe that's what he said. So he couldn't even discern that correctly. Even as iron is not mixed with, my, with clay, verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the Most High, the power of heaven, set up a kingdom. What does that mean? Yeah. What does that mean? What does it mean to set up a kingdom? What is what is a kingdom? Give me an example of the setting up of the kingdom. When you see these camps out here, that's the beginning of the kingdom. Us being on this uh, YouTube thing, that's the kingdom, man. Luke, Luke 17, 20. Okay. Yep. You're seeing the kingdom being assembled before your eyes. Uh, Psalm 15 and 16. Yeah. Most of he said he's gonna gather together before their eyes. Yep. While they watch this on YouTube. Oh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous stand in great boldness before the face of, them, of such as afflicted him. Go ahead. Luke chapter 17, verse 20. Yeah. It's like it. And when, and when he was demanded of the, of the Pharisees when the kingdom of the Most High should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of the Most High cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of the Most High is within you. Yeah, so all the brothers, the, the hopeful members of the elect coming together, the house of David, that is the beginning of the building of the kingdom. Remember, this is a spiritual house. What is that, First Peter 2 and 5? You built up a spiritual house. 
And uh, there was a point I wanted to make. Um, uh, uh, While you're thinking about it, go yeah. back to Daniel. Right. Daniel 2 and 44. And in, and, in, and in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom. So the kingdom is being set up by these camps. The dry bones in the valley are uh, putting skin upon them, being, having skin put upon them. I, I remember now. New, somebody so, said New Jerusalem coming from heaven. That's after we escape the missiles with the so-called UFOs. Right. Uh, and then come back down. So yeah. us coming back down on those ships, majestic ships, yeah. there's a kingdom coming back down so us to take over the other nations. Yeah, the so-called Jehovah's Wickedness. They're, in their cartoon books, they have a giant castle. Yeah, with a with an old senior citizen, Edomites, yeah, yeah, yeah. and one black and black woman in the middle. Well, they actually, in that illustration, they actually show a castle, and that's it. That's the kingdom coming down from heaven, showing you they don't understand the scriptures. And the brother from Mexicana said, Nate is taking the skin off. Yeah, well, he is doing that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The main skin he's taking off is the name of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son. Go ahead, bro. All right, I got the first Peter uh, two yeah, and five. You want to on the, the king? Yeah, yeah. Never okay. Go back okay. Again. First Peter chapter two, verse five. Ye also, uh, let me. I'm sorry. Let me start up at uh, fourth verse. Because he's talking about us. He's talking about come. us. Yeah. Go ahead. To whom coming, as unto light, uh, living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the Most High and There's precious. There's babes again. Disallowed. Just like, just like we are. That, uh, dis disallowed. We're that stone too. Babes. We're one of those stones. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's why we're babes. This a lot of men look down. Yep. Oh, these guys can't possibly be the, the prophets or the men of the Lord. Look at them. Go ahead. Ye also as lively stones. Look at John the Baptist coming up. Yeah, I wish I didn't look at them the same way. Yeah. Go ahead, and what, and what And what went ye out to see? Right. Right. A, uh, a, reed a reed shaking, shaking in the, the wind. wind. Yeah. Right, Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. I built up a spiritual house. Now I had did a video, uh, a video in the book of uh, Ezra. You had the, the Persians and the Medes. They were trying to hinder us in building the physical temple. That was during the time of Cyrus. And they were trying to hinder us. Well, it's the same thing now. We're building a spiritual temple and they're trying, they're trying to, to hinder us. us. Yeah. yeah. So again, just like the scripture said, there is no new thing under the sun. All right? Go ahead, brother. All right, it says, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. A spiritual house, yep, go ahead. And holy priesthood. A holy priesthood, go ahead. To offer up spiritual sacrifices yep. acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. An example of those spiritual sacrifices is what we do right now. And that's acceptable before Yahweh Shai. That's it on that, that's the point. Yeah, go back, back to again. Daniel. Daniel chapter 2 verse 44. For as much as thou sawest that stone, I'm sorry, 44th verse. And the days of... Yeah, the brother mentioned Ezra 4, that's what he was talking about. Come, come, yeah. And, 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 read it, read it. and in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom. So this is the, we're doing it through the, the, the spirits on us, man. Yes. That's why we're doing, man, I was sitting down, doing my little sit downs yeah. and the sun would come up and it was like I, I was compelled to just do another video. Do another. A lot of times I might do three, four videos in a day yep. and I wasn't planning on doing any video. Yeah, because the Spirit of the Lord is because on Because the Spirit of the Lord is on me, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all spiritual, bro. Yeah. It says, which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall and not that's be... that's what Esau hates. That's what the elect hates because their kingdom is going to be destroyed. Right. Our kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom. So a million years from now, a billion years from now, we're still going to be it's on top. Real, yeah. Oh, and that's what uh, Esau sold for for his for what a morsel of meat. But yeah. it was set up anyway. Yeah, it was set up, it was but set up anyway. we're still going to play on it. Yeah, we're still going to play on <laughs> it. Because uh, that proves Esau. That's why he's mad. That's, that's why, why he's he mad. wanted to kill Jacob. That's because he lost the everlasting kingdom. And he's still you mad. have a, you have a temporary kingdom that there you, you go. were going to rule by the sword. There you go. That's why you got military bases all over the world. Right. And you're spreading yourself thin and you gotta pay those soldiers, man. And you haven't you haven't quit that spirit because you did the same thing when you were the Romans. You spread your army thin. Which are the Edomites. Which are the Edomites, that's why your, your kingdom is going down. You cheapen the money, just like you're doing now. Back then it was the den denarius. Now it's the Federal Reserve notes. 
So history once again is repeating itself. There is no new thing under the sun. The scriptures tell us that. Anyway, we're wrapping it up. Read it. We're okay. It, it up. says, and the kingdom shall not be left to others, other people. Meaning it's only going to be given to Israel. Ain't no <laughs> other people going to be a part of it. There it is. But it shall break in pieces and consume all those kingdoms. Who's going to do that? The Lord. And we're going to do it, man. Do yeah. it is. He's going to get that rod of iron. And guess what? We're going to get a rod of iron. No, so we're going to kick life. ass. Right. We will, Jer Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out uh, of the uh, of the uh, of the mountain without hands, and that it break uh, in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver. And what's that stone? Revelation 18:21. Yeah. Great millstone. Yeah. And and the gold, the great power, have made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. Revelation 18, 21, we're going to close on that. And the dream is certain, meaning it's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen. All right. It's happening now. The feet of it are here. Yeah. All right. It's happening now. The beast is here. Yep. Yep. Everything is in place. The dragon was here. Right. Go ahead. Revelation 18, 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down America. and shall be found no more at all. That's it. So with that, we, 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 we out. Shalom. 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 On to the next one. That's it. What's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, yeah, that's it. Does he even do videos? Who? What's yeah. next? What's next? What the hell is that? You know, that white boy needs to get all... Well, she could be a jank. Get, get all excited. And he'd be screaming in the, in the camera. I don't, I don't remember his name. Oh.